आई एम दीप्ति गुप्ता एंड आई एम एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन मेटोलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड मटीरियल साइंस एंड आई वर्क इन द एरिया ऑफ एनर्जी डिवाइस एंड लाइक वेरेबल डिवाइस फॉर हेल्थ मॉनिटरिंग सो इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट विद टाटा सेंटर वी आर वर्किंग ऑन ट्राइबो इलेक्ट्रिक जनरेटर्स फॉर विंड एनर्जी हार्वेस्टिंग सो यू नो दैट दिस डेज देर इज लॉट्स ऑफ एफर्ट इन हैविंग लाइक ऑल्टरनेटिव एनर्जी सोर्सेज अदर अदर देन द रेगुलर काइंड ऑफ energy sources that we have uh, the idea is that can we provide off grid supply to places which are remote or places where, where like electricity supply from the grid connections is very difficult right for example slum areas villages and apart from that our based on our daily energy needs they are also going up uh, like really high right so suppose you are traveling somewhere right and if you have to carry a battery pack with yourself then battery pack itself has to have to be charged from somewhere right then if you have some source which does not some natural source where you can uh, like harness energy one is solar right there is lots of efforts on solar that's going on these days but wind is also one very good energy source for us and it is useful especially for example in night time right when solar energy is not available then in conjunction with solar energy you can also harness wind energy and if you consider for example all of these western ghats western places mumbai right there is lots of wind energy actually which you can harness and then you can actually cater to all your daily energy energy demands right so in this project what we are trying to come up with is a way of uh, uh, harnessing mechanical energy and mechanical energy is actually coming from Uh, the wind energy right suppose you have uh, two surfaces right and you this is one very simple experiment that people do right if you put your comb into the air uh, into onto your hair you will always feel that there are some charges are being generated so the same concept is being generated like used over here that wind energy or suppose two surfaces when they are mechanical rubbed against each other so this is like a kind of frictional force that you are generating and this is also based on the phenomenon of tribo right so when the two surfaces rub each other they actually create charges right so using wind energy in the same way we will try to have two specially designed surfaces which move in a certain way so that you can you can separate the charges and that's why you have generated the voltages so our concept is based on this simple theory but then we also have to work on several different designs so that maximum of wind energy can be harnessed and you can separate the charges to the maximum level so we are working on different kind of polymers right and our idea is also can not only like simple uh, devices that we can power if we can have a kind of a um, mat of these surfaces right which on wind energy can blow and can actually target a simple home as well so uh, we will we will work on different designs of materials we will select like there will be lots of work on selection of materials especially polymer materials which are soft and can easily be installed later on so they will be uh, like rubbed against each other we also fi- find of a way set so that they can be placed on each other carefully then we will be doing lots of nano structuring so that we can increase the surface surface area on uh, any given surface and the charges that can be separated from each other are maximized right so we will do like different uh, material uh, processing and treatment so increase the surface area and finally to have maximum surface uh, like maximum surface charges that can be generated from this process and then uh, uh, like i think after this project we will show that this proof of concept that we can use this concept and actually power some simple devices for example led is very simple one so even now we have worked on uh, different surfaces we have also figured out a way that how to like give wind energy right so we have designed some rotary motors uh, which in certain way can uh, rotate uh, uh, the sample and generate charges so all of these process is going hand in hand see in conventional wind energy sources have as you have seen wind energy turbines they are actually placed for first of all at very high altitudes right and then uh, like uh, the way of harness har- harnessing the wind energy is completely different right there it is rotating and there is some mechanical device which is taking it back and then transferring it to an electrical energy 
for us it's about the tribal uh, tribal is the main thing over here that there are two surfaces which will come in contact because of wind energy harvesting so there the mechanical energy storage device is completely different so ours is completely different and our uh, um, like output voltage that are being generated with wind energy traditional wind energy sources would be much less right but at the same time the peak to peak voltages would be very high right and then it has to be combined with some power management unit so that the high peak to peak unit um, voltages which are generated from a very small devices can be converted into a one which can be regularly used like in regular electricity so we will be working on in that way so it's completely different than this uh, like uh, traditional wind energy turbines so we are look as i already said we are looking for people who are placed in remote places right and remote places means that it's not only uh, villagers or uh, poor people right sometimes you also go at some remote for example satellite uh, operations or suppose you are going for trekking or suppose you want to set up something at very high remote altitudes in himalayas for example so this is providing you a source independent portable power source which you can use at your own ease and then it, uh, definitely it's going to cater to the needs of uh, the people who are at the bottom of the pyramid so sizing as i said its design is completely different so we will try to make it like a mat wind energy turbines at uh, like very high altitude or of very high in size right but these are kind of a mats like such that the two surfaces polymer surfaces they are come standing up together like um uh, like in the regular mats right they are standing up together and these dimensions would not be very high for example maybe 10 cm in height and width around 2 or 3 cm right so this two when they come together they can generate around 10 volts right suppose you consider this 6 uh, by 6 feet mat right that would be good enough to uh, for example power a simple home with one tv two fans few lights refrigerator so we are targeting like that one that you can actually power a simple home which would not be covered in this uh, like project but later on it can be uh, expanded to that scale so in next 6 months our target is that we simply want to uh, like establish the proof of concept that we can generate this we have already seen that we are able to generate we have to work a little bit more so that we can reliably show that we can generate this amount this amount of voltage with this kind of simple designs